Okay, I'm going to show you how to solve a system of equations on your uh, TI Inspire. So I'm going to assume you don't have a cache. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is, uh, I mean, I guess I can just solve by graphing. So I'm going to go to graphs. And uh, the first one, so I'm kind of working through one of the problem sets. Uh, go to negative 2 sevenths x and then plus 41 over 14. And then press tab and enter our second equation. So it's going to be negative 10 over 3x and plus 41 over 6, like that. Then if you go to menu, you can go to um, analyze graph and find the intersection, uh, which is fine. Uh, something that's a little better if you have more than one intersection point is to go to geometry, points and lines, and intersection points, because that can find. Uh, a whole lot of them with the uh, equations at once. I might be lying, the other one might be able to do that too. Um, anyway, so those are the values that I got. Um, that's what somebody wrote down in the document, and that's fine, but these are decimals, which is okay, but isn't, you know, it's not the exact answer. So um, a second thing that I want to do is I'm going to hit doc and insert a, let's see, I'm going to insert a calculator page. And now what I'm going to do is press menu and go down to algebra. And if you scroll down, I have the cast, so for me it's seven uh, solve system of equations. And then I have solve system of linear equations, uh, because these are linear equations. I have two equations, the variables are x and y, so I'm just gonna press enter on that. And the first one is y equals negative uh, two sevenths x plus, and then 41 over 4, press tab, tab, and then the second one was y equals negative uh, 10 over 3x plus 41 over uh, 6, and the variables are x and y. So when I press enter, this gives me the exact values, which you can see if I press, um, that did not give me the same answer at all. What happened there? Boom, 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 boom. Typo, maybe? Oh, typo. Look at that. It's only going to give you the same answer if you type in the same equations. Put a 14 there. There we go. Get rid of that. I can hide my shame. Uh, if I press uh, Control Enter, it gives me that. And you can see those are the same answers as what we had before. If I click back um, like that, except here, they're the exact answers uh, up above. So those are better answers because those are not decimals. Um, so I can store them and work with them. Um, and everyone should know how to do that. So I uh, will show you one more thing. If you just have the, uh, if you have the CAS, uh, menu 3-1 is probably the greatest key combination ever. Uh, we want equal. So now I'm just going to type them in. So negative 2 sevenths. Hopefully I'm going to type them in correctly. But we'll see. 41. It's at 41 over 14. That's like a weird thing. Now I'm going to press space, which uh, is uh, right here, down here. Boom, space, and type and. And another space. And then the other one, y equals negative 10 thirds x plus 41 over 6. Now you do comma x, and it solves it for you, which hopefully is the same solution, which it is. Okay, so uh, that's kind of three ways that you could have solved this. Um, getting the exact answer is better than getting the decimal equivalent, and that's why I thought you should uh, check out this video. Hope this was helpful. Good luck.